seems so simple, but most companies don't do it. If you have a plan of what to do after an accident happens, then in all likelihood you're going to mitigate some of the exposure we have at the case. You need to have a point person uh, immediately after an accident happens who's going to handle the investigation. Is it going to be the HR person, the safety person, the risk manager? Who is, who is it going to be? Is it going to be the attorney? You have to have an idea of who is going to do, do the investigation. Immediately after the accident happens is when you should get the, that person involved to start doing the investigation because a lot of times the evidence you need starts to go away. Whether it's witnesses that saw it, they may not remember it if you go to them a few weeks later. If there's surveillance video, that may be deleted. So you need to start doing that investigation immediately after an accident happens, not once you get in the mail a claim petition for workers' comp benefits. It's too late. So start doing it immediately. If you have that plan initially, like Brian was saying, then that starts to get the ball rolling in your favor from day one so you're not behind the ball. You mentioned the words um, um, being proactive. I think that's probably, I mean, you kind of stole my thunder. It was my word of the day. But being pro proactive instead of reactive. A lot of companies that I deal with are entirely reactive when it comes to work accidents. They wait until someone comes in and says, hey, I got hurt, and sometimes it's 30 days later, or until they get something in the mail from an attorney to do any investigation whatsoever. So sometimes we do have formal um, uh, complaints of an accident happening. Other times you may not know, if you know about it until weeks after the fact. So what we need to do is you need to always know what's going on with your workers, whether it's a safety person, a supervisor, HR person, whoever it is. They hear someone say, hey, my back was hurting today. Talk to that person, inquire as to why their back was hurting. Because there is some case law, and my partner Brandon here, we've had this happen a few times, where someone has said that their back was hurting, did specifically indicate that there was a work accident involved. Later on, they claim that there was a work accident because they're trying to backdoor their personal condition into a work accident. But we're already behind the eight ball, no questions were asked of that, that worker once they start to complain. Because at that point in time, you may have been able to talk to a coworker who said, yeah, Johnny always talks about his problem. He said he was playing basketball and he heard it over the weekend. True story, you have to have that happen. So if you have a, a plan, you have a point person from the first moment an accident happens, you can start to mitigate the risk and the, the exposure of your case.